Hello everyone, I am Hari Prabhat from IIT BHU Varanasi and we designed some LoRa board and here we can see that how we assemble these LoRa boards and how we can use this LoRa board. So let's start to see that how we can assemble this LoRa board. So here we can see that, so I think so this is the first one module, this is the camera model EPS32 and there is one antenna and there is one cable this cable we require to connect these all things so here this is the lora board and this is the antenna where we can fix the antenna so we can fix the antenna at this position here we have one battery that we can connect the battery give the power from the battery here this is the cable connection this cable is uh, helpful for give the power to this one board and cable is also required burn the cord in this model this is the LoRa chip they can communicate the data uh, and uh, here we can paste the camera so this is the camera model we use the directly EPS32 cam model this cam model they have the Bluetooth Wi-Fi and also the camera so carefully we can fix it here like this that's it now your model is ready for the working purpose here we can use this model for transfer the images, capture the image and transmit these images to this one base station. This is a cable and we connect this cable like this. Now this cable is connected. So here since we already burn the code, you are not required to burn the code. You need to give the power. Now we connect this cable with our laptop. If uh, you have the MacBook and no such connection is there, so we can use the extension board. Here I have used some extension board for this power purpose. So what I will do, I can put it here and only for the power purpose. So once we put it here, we can see that the power comes. Now this node is ready for capture the images. They continuous take the images, transmit this image to the other LoRa model. Uh, we see the other board first. So this is the another, this board is for the receiver purpose, there is a LoRa chip and nano board is there. So at the LoRa chip you can screw the antenna like this and there is one more cable is there for this one. So here we can connect like this. Yes, perfect. Now this board is also ready uh, for the use purpose. This is the cable, code is already burned on this node so you are not required to burn the code and this node however what we are doing we, uh, we this cable is helpful to give the power to this one board and another point is that one this node is for the image capture and sending this board is for receive the data but we need to transmit this data from this board to the laptop so we use this cable to transmit the data from this board to the laptop so uh, transmit the data to the laptop we need a one usb port so what we will do we check the port at which board uh, which port number this board is connected to your laptop so to do this what we will do very first we uh, plug this one with this extension board and this extension board is connected with my uh, laptop so what i will do i will pick it like this and since you can see that this laptop uh, this extension board is connected with my laptop now once again we come to our screen and uh, see that on the screen uh, that uh, uh, how we use this so we can go uh, to the uh, screen uh, that we can check this yes this is the uh, one python program i have this and uh, i have written here in this python program other things are for capture the data and convert into the image like this one but here you can see that this one line this is an interesting line here so this is the port number so how we can check the port number we can go to the terminal in the MacBook, we can write to check the port number. This is command for check the port number or USB port. We can see that there are two USB ports are busy. One is for sender purpose, other one is for receiver purpose. Since uh, we receive the data from this one port, we just copy this one and paste it here. So this is my port number. If you are not carefully copy, then we are not able to receive the data. So what we will do, we use the TTY port. So we copy this one and paste it here since we already paste so we are not required to this one so this python script they collect the data from this port collect the data and convert into the image so how we can run this python code uh, before we are uh, running the python code i just want to share uh, some uh, two three lines about the lora so the lora uh, 
is of course the long range communication protocol but uh, the challenge in the lora is the payload so lora support uh, 250 bytes payload at sa factor 7 and it takes around 500 milliseconds if you use the sa factor 7 you need a 500 millisecond to transmit one packet to another and payload is 250 bytes only a smallest image what we are captured with the help of this camera is around 500 bytes so 500 bytes image 250 byte packet that means you need to break the packet into the uh, image into the packets so 500 bytes 250 bytes that means 20 packets are required so each packet takes the 500 millisecond latency and you need to give the delay from one packet to the another packet which is uh, we set around one second so 0.5 second for transmit the image and one second is delay so 1.5 second is required for one packet from source to the destination in SA factor 7 now image is the 500 bytes so 500 bytes divide by uh, this uh, 250 so we get the around 20 packets 20 packets multiply by 1.5 second so 20 packets multiply by 1.5 second it takes around 30 second so we can say that a one image of the 500 bytes each packet is the 250 bytes it takes around 30 second transmit from one node to the another node of course the plus point in the lora is that you can cover in the com some kilometers five kilometer ten kilometer even without obstacle you can complete more than that one so in the urban area or in inside the campus if we are successfully transmit the data in a some kilometer even in 30 second image it takes it's not uh, some challenge so now my nodes are ready to transmit and we come to the screen so this is the port number that we already seen this is the port number and uh, just uh, so the node yeah this is the nodes and these are the my port number so what i will do i just go to the console first i need to go to this one folder this folder is on my desktop which is the final code so i need to go to the path so cd user hari prabhat and desktop and final code once you are in this folder you need to run the python write the simple python file name dot python so file name is the image file dot py python i just click it here so first we check that the serial port open yes serial port match if there is any mismatching in the serial port they will say that no serial port is uh, mismatch and serial port is not now they capture the images from this node and transmit the images from this node to that one node so we can see here they capture one image here uh, the size of the image captured is 4 port to 1 bytes so 4 port to 1 bytes divide into 250 bytes per packet so we have the around 18 packets so they transmit the 18 packet and once they transmit the 18 packets so you can see that inside this there is one more folder comes into the picture inside this picture you can see the captured image so they capture one image randomly very random image so let we can carefully capture some uh, uh, some more careful images uh, we can put it here itself uh, we can put the node at this position so now, now, uh, now the receiver uh, sender node is at this, so they capture the image. Let me directly and happily they can uh, they capture my own image. And uh, this is your receiver uh, node. They collect this image and transmit this image to your laptop, and we can see. So let's once again we go to our screen and see what's going on. So here in the screen they capture a new image, which size is 9534. Uh, bytes and 250 bytes is there so 39 packets are required so bytes depend on your image uh, colors and other things so I, I based on my understanding i have done that numbers of time and we see that if there is one colorful picture is there then size is little bit bigger so of course it depends on the image size it depends on what we are capture so they are capturing the images let we can see that uh, this is image capture is going on so we need to wait 39 packets so in the screen you can see that uh, this is the upcoming image size in bytes is this one per packet is 250 and total we receive the 39 packets yes here the packet failure rate is zero and uh, you successfully receive the packet and this is the image so this image that uh, we have captured at this point so uh, this is uh, the we can say the LoRa so we captured the images and we transmit the image and the desktop so overall in this uh, entire uh, uh, video we see that okay how we can capture the images how we can transmit the images at the end user uh, image at 
dip time depend on the image size so 30 second is not poor if we transmit this image from one node to the another node which is the some kilometer distance the power consumption is less than bluetooth low energy so i hope so that uh, this uh, video covers all these necessary we can see that the 